Qatar World Cup ambassador calls homosexuality a damage in the mind. A Qatari ambassador for the World Cup received criticism after describing homosexuality as damage in the, in the mind during an interview with the German public broadcaster. How, um, Khalid Salman, a former player for the Qatari national soccer team and an ambassador for the World Cup, made these remarks as Qatar prepares to officially begin the World Tournament in less than two weeks, where about 1.2 million people are expected to attend. During the interview with German broadcaster ZWF, excuse me, ZDF, Salman discussed homosexuality, which is illegal in Qatar. Quote, during the World Cup, many things will come to the country. Let's talk about gays, Salman said in English. <laughs> Let's talk about gays. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the most important thing is everyone will accept that uh, every, excuse me, everyone will accept that they come here, but they will have to accept our rules, he added. Homosexuality is haram. Do you know what haram means? Salman continued during the interview. In Islamic law, if something is haram, it is considered forbidden. When the reporter asked why homosexuality was haram, Salman replied, I'm not a strict Muslim, but why is it haram? Because it's damage in the mind. He also went on to say that being gay causes, quote, spiritual harm. According to ZDF, a press office, excuse me, a press officer for the World Organizing Committee immediately cut the interview short. Reuters asked the World Cup organizers for a comment regarding the issue, but they denied the request. How the hell did this man get this job? Like, is he an idiot? I thought these people love money and understand, you know, com marketing and stuff. Right before the... Sh I know, right, right before, before, the before Cup, and they've been trying to whitewash this whole thing for years. <laughs> like, Qatar issue. has they've been, been like, to, like, spending millions of trying... Yeah, these these countries have been spending billions of dollars trying to act like they're progressive and try to act like, like, hey, shh, like, please do not, like, ignore the fact that we have, like, barbaric, ancient, backward, anti, you know, misogynist, homophobic, and transphobic laws. Like, here, look at these shiny things and ignore that, that, that reality about our laws. And this idiot, he's the ambassador, like, his job, look at his job title. World Cup ambassador. Like, how did he get that job? Like, this this, this kind of show me that in Qatar, you get, get jobs based on connections that you have, not based on qualifications or something. Because this is, like, the last thing you're supposed to say. What is this? What the hell? Like, let me teach you. I mean, but you. what if is he supposed to say? If someone asks you, I'll why teach is you, it I'll wrong? Teach. Why is it forbidden? What are you supposed to say? I'll teach you how, okay? okay. Like, Okay, so you're supposed to dodge, okay? You're supposed to pivot, okay? You're supposed to be like, let's, you're supposed to not, this is how professionals do that. Like, you, when you want to whitewash your dirty laundry, okay? You say like, listen, every country has its own norms and cultures, okay? We understand that some of these cultures and norms, like, we respect yours, Okay. And when you come to our country, there are certain things we understand, like we actually change, we have been very flexible about how we accommodate our guests because they are not used to our norms and standards, okay? And we try to be as accommodating as we can, but you have to understand that the standards that we have in this country is not the same as yours. And every place you go, the, the cultures is different and you have to respect them and we respect yours when we come to your country and you respect ours when you come to our country. Okay, and like, and then you ask me like, okay, but why is it haram? I'm like, listen, this is not a religious discussion. We're not having here. We're here to enjoy sports. This is the coming of together of people, and these conversations are only done by the people who are trying to separate us. Sports are beyond these conversations, and this is not the right time and place to have these conversations. Okay, even if you think we have some things that we fall short of, okay. This is how we bring people together, and we could have those discussions later. But to right now, sports is about is about putting religion and nation and everything is and enjoying each other and celebrating each other's culture and accept each other's differences. So you don't answer that. You just say some bull, bull, bull crap stuff like that. You just like you just bullshit the guy. That's how you do. Wasn't that better than this this answer? I think that was a lot better. 
I mean, I know it was bullshit because I turned, I my brain just tuned out because I was like, okay, yada yada. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to. Yes, you're supposed to. You you don't want to give an you, you don't want to give an answer that becomes new uh, news t- all like that, right? So you have to give it a boring answer because you dodge the answer. You don't actually answer. So after this happened, like he's come out and said that this is all some big misunderstanding and people didn't understand what he meant. It was taken out of context, like the usual spiel. Um, (laughs) Even Pakistani Defense Force is saying Armin would be a good foreign minister (laughs) because his BS skills are on point. Okay. (laughs) We need Armin as a press secretary. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know, but um, I'm just so impressed by how much this guy just like, like actively trying to destroy millions and millions of dollars of worth of marketing to whitewash Qatar's yeah. reputation. Yeah. <laughs> Do you so funny? She's saying the other guy was like, cut. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job. You had one job. This idiot. What the hell? I really um, want to know how he got his job, given that this is the answer he gives. Yeah, he's saying, we accept gay people's money. Please leave right after. (laughs) This is the whole thing that's so frustrating about the whole Qatari situation is like, they try to act like they're accepting and stuff, but it's so... If you like take even 30 seconds to look, it's 100% obvious that it's like, okay, we have these rules for foreigners and we have different rules for our own citizens and for our own citizens this is patently illegal right and you can be sent to arbitrary detention for like six months yeah but their rules even like are 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 protesters going to bring the flag the gay flag in to try to see what will happen i suspect that something like that is going to happen i suspect like during during the events people like gay rights activists are going to just like uh bring out like they're you know they're gonna try to hide their gay flags in the in their backpacks or whatever or in their underwear or whatever and then during the show they're gonna take off their their shirt or something and they're gonna see that there's a rainbow shirt under something okay and then we're gonna see how they respond are they gonna be peacefully escorted out of the stadium are they gonna be arrested are they gonna be deported but i i i think it's very likely that some activists are going to try to um see how much they could poke the Qatari government and make a statement with it. I mean, I'm, I, I suspect we're going to see something like that. What do you think? Darko is saying, at least the guy was honest, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I do kind of actually prefer that. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I prefer it as well, but I'm just saying from their perspective, this doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Yeah. Um, Oxymor is saying, I would prefer this dude over whatever word salad you build up. My heart, uh, my head hurts when people speak like this. It's supposed to make you, your head hurt. You're like, oh, you have to, like, you have to give an answer where people roll their eyes or like, he just dodged the answer. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do because everything else would be an embarrassment. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description. <laughs>